So the 2K ratings came out today, so we got to do our reaction to at least the top guys, and I have my changes that I would make to this list. And I was going to start off by talking about Giannis being at the top. Finally, it's been deserved. I was told that it was the first time in like years that it wasn't LeBron at the top, which is just some absolutely meat riding stuff because Giannis had separated himself a year prior by dropping 50 in an elimination game six to win the NBA Finals. LeBron's no, no other player in NBA history has done that. And the fact that he was already the best defender in the league, just best player in the league, he absolutely should have been that before. But about time with that. But another thing I was already going to talk about was Kevin Durant being too high on this list. But then I had looked at Twitter, or I got a notification saying, Kevin Durant tweeted, Hey, Ronnie 2K, I'm going to need an explanation on why I'm not a 99. This has become laughable, is what he said. He has to be just trolling. He has to just enjoy everybody hating him and everybody just hating on him and just seeing the world come at him because there's no way he could think that of himself. There is no type of way. And it's completely, I don't even think there's a way you should be able to have him on the same level as Steph Curry and Jokic. And for him to think that he's higher, it's just, Kevin Durant has been so overrated throughout his career. I think people are just so shocked that he's like seven feet tall and can shoot that they'll just overlook all of the flaws. And I get with 2K, some of the stuff that are his flaws don't necessarily show up because 2K is just like an addition of you know all, all the attributes. But let's just talk about attributes. Not even forget like the leadership stuff that isn't necessarily going to show up on 2K, all of that. All right, durability is a 2K rating. That's going to factor into this, I believe. Two, hit ball handling. His handle is probably the most overrated part of his game. He doesn't have a very good handle. For a seven-footer, he has a phenomenal handle, but... In terms of people act like he can handle it like a point guard. No, he can't. Just watch the Celtics series. Watch when people give him pressure. He can't get by people when they give him pressure. Good defenders give him pressure. He can't put the ball on the floor and get by people like that. He really doesn't. He's able to, like, when people over like overly close out on him, or he's able to get a kind of a slower defender because they want to match up size. But in terms of like guys that are that are wings and are strong, really good defenders, he gets into trouble when he tries putting the ball on the floor a lot. He has bad assist to turnover ratios against good defenses, and also strength rating, pretty weak. He's not able to when he get Grant Williams on him, he's not moving him in the post whatsoever. So there are actual ratings where they should be pretty low. Like Curry as a point guard is stronger than Kevin Durant. Curry is like you could be a Curry hater, but if you learn anything about like. Curry, Steph Curry in the weight room. Steph Curry is one of the strongest point guards in the league. And he's one of the best defenders as a point guard. Kevin Durant isn't even on his level defensively. He's on like Jokic level defensively, but he's not the defender he once was. Yo, Kevin Durant defensively was not making that big of an impact this up this past season. So I don't know how you justify him being the same rating as Stephen Curry. Like he's not as good of a shooter as Steph Curry. He's not as good of a passer as Steph Curry. He's not as good of a defender. He's not as strong. He doesn't have as good of a handle. That's it's he hasn't proved he hasn't shown as much. Kevin Durant's I mean Curry's accomplished a lot more, was way better last season. So there's just no justification for him being on the same level as Curry, let alone him talk about being a 99. But let me go through the entire list right now and give you my changes, then we could go through it even more. But I had to start off by talking about that. All right, let's just start off with Giannis at 97. Let's just say that's where the tippy top is. Sure, I'll keep Giannis a point above everybody else, and then 96. I'm keeping Steph Curry at 96, and I'm keeping Jokic at 96. The rest of you fools got to go down a notch. LeBron James, no. There are some attributes that you would have to list, and I believe um, hustle is part of the attributes. That man does not show hustle unless his team is dominant. You know, the, the team was getting booed halfway through the season, and the man was just walking up and down the court, putting his hands in his jersey. Like, for the most part, he doesn't play hard anymore. And... I mean, in terms of flaws in his game, yeah, it's just defense just tails off because he only plays defense when he wants to. But again, it's not. I'm not moving him that far down. I'm just moving down to Spock because I don't think he's on the same level as Curry or Jokic. Jokic, who is an amazing defender, but he's actually underrated. He's a solid defender, and offensively, he's the best player in the league. He can put up a triple-double every single night, carried a bum team into the playoffs. His next best player was Will Barton. Kidding me? Ridiculous. So I'm putting those two at 96, LeBron at 95. I'm keeping Luka at 95 with LeBron, and... That's it for 95 for me. And then I'm moving it down to 94, and we're going to talk right there. That's where we're going to throw a lot of people. We're going to throw Kevin Durant at 94. We're going to throw Embiid at 94. And I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Yeah, that's all I'm throwing right there, actually. Kevin Durant, Embiid, 94. Y'all can hold on right there. I'm not keep, I'm not even putting you in the same level as Luka, is that who they have below you. Kevin Durant, no, you're too flawed to be that, to, that high. That's crazy, especially with what you showed last year. Kevin Durant, Embiid at 94. And then 93, I'm going to go Kawhi Leonard. Just because off the, the injury, he probably should be in Kevin Durant's. I'm going to put him on the same level. I'll put Kawhi Leonard 94 as well. And then 93, when we start getting down here, 
Bro, John Morant should not be no stinking 93. He is not one attribute point lesser than Kawhi Leonard. He's not two attribute points away from Luka Doncic. His team had a better record when he doesn't play. He plays no defense. Like, the people above him, they're all like, they at least play some symbol of defense. Maybe not Luka, but Luka's also on another level offensively. Luka, I even think, just based off his size, plays a little better defense than Ja. Ja's defense is horrible. Ja should be like an 89. Ja is so overrated. His team was better when he wasn't on the floor. They and the People were like, oh, it was a weird stretch in the regular season. Okay, they were significantly better in the regular season when he didn't play over a long period of time, like 25 games. And then in the playoffs against the Warriors, they were down 2-1 when he left. And then when he left... They lost two of the games. They won two of the games. Same exact thing against the Warriors. And in two of the games that they lost, they were closer when he wasn't playing. So him being 93 is would at like just no, it's just it's insane. You don't know basketball if you think that he's on the same low, if he's one point less than Kawhi, two points less than Luca. Like that's ridiculous. 89 is generous. Like honestly, it'd probably be more like an 86. But because y'all put him so high, I'll meet you halfway and say 89. Jason Tatum 93 seems perfect. That seems about right. I'm putting him one point below Kevin Durant. So that's still, if you think I'm hitting on Kevin Durant, that's being perfectly fair to Kevin Durant. I mean, Jason Tatum outplayed you in the playoffs. I I am almost struggling to do that. I, I, I'm, I'll give it to 2K. I'll give it to KD that he's one point better than Tatum. But that's just kind of based off of, uh, just based off of, I guess, the amount of time he's been doing it and consistency. Tatum, at least in the regular season a lot, or in playoffs too, there'll be games where he's just terrible where you don't have that level of poor individual games from Kevin Durant. So I'll put Tatum at 93 like they have. Butler's overrated as well. He should be more like a 91. Jimmy Butler, people overrate as well. It's just like people that they like, they people overrate. Like Kevin, Chris Middleton's a better player than Jimmy Butler. Paul George is better. Chris Middleton and Paul George are better than Jal Morant and Jimmy Butler. Uh, yeah, the Jimmy Butler people act like is the clutchest guy ever. They ignore all of the bad things he does in the playoffs and the fact that he's not that great in the regular season. Like he's like a normal All Star in the regular season, and he plays like a really good All Star in the playoffs. But he's not ninety three. He's not on Jason Tatum's level. He's nowhere near Tatum's level in the regular season. And especially when you talk about two K ratings, you can't put clutches. Clutch shouldn't take you you know, five points higher. And if you just want to base on the fact that he's clutch, that still doesn't take you up to Tatum's level. Even when in the when he's at his best, he's like at Tatum's level. So no. That's that part's messed up too. But let me know what y'all think. What would y'all change about this list? Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.